Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel. In this video, we will guide you through the process how to fix HomeKit automation turn off after X minute not working. Okay. So guys, we are going to discuss by each step. Our first step is delete and recreate the automation. How to do this? Open the Home app on your iOS device. Tap on the automation tab at the bottom of the screen and then find the automation you want to delete and tap on it to open its setting. After this, scroll down and tap on the delete automation at the bottom of your screen and then confirm the deletation by tapping on the delete. Okay. To recreate the automation, tap on the plus icon in the top right corner. Choose add automation to follow the prompt and test the new automation to ensure it's working as indeed. Okay. So as our second step is convert to shortcut. Open the home app on your iOS device. Navigate to the automation tab at the bottom and then select the automation you want to convert to a shortcut scroll down and tap on convert to shortcut the visual shortcut editor will open allow you customize the automation using the shortcut action after editing tap on the done to save your changes by our third step is ensure your device is set up as a home hub for home board open the home app on your ios device Tap on the, the home icon or user profile picture in the upper left corner. Look under home hub to see if your home port is listed as connected. If it is, it should be functioning as a home hub. Okay. For Apple TV, go to setting app on your Apple TV, navigate to account and then select iCloud. Check to see if home kit, home kit is listed as a connected. If it isn't, your Apple TV is not set up as a home hub. Okay. For iPad. Open the setting app on your iPad, scroll down and tap onto the home. Ensure that your use, use this iPad as a home hub option is toggled on. So guys, our fourth step is restart your Apple TV, iPad and iPhone. For Apple TV, how to restart? Press and hold the home button and menu button on your Apple TV remote until the light on the Apple TV start flashing. After alternating, you can go to setting and then system and then restart. Okay iPad or iPhone press and hold the press and hold either the volume button or the side button until the power off slider appear okay drag the slider then wait for 30 seconds for your device to turn off to turn your device back on press and hold the side button on the right side of your iPhone or the top button for the iPad until you see the Apple logo okay so as our fifth step is sign out and sign in in the iCloud on your Apple TV go to setting app select account and then choose iCloud scroll down and select sign out once you have the sign out sign in back into your iCloud account by selecting sign in and entering the your Apple ID and password additional tips is to ensure that your home kit automation such as turn off after X minute functionally correctly your device must be both connected to the internet and on the same wi-fi network during setup additionally this would be updated to the latest version of their operating system okay and also ensure your internet and wi-fi connectivity verify that your apple tv or ipad iphone and other ios device are connected to the internet by opening the web browser or app that required internet action okay Make sure all the devices are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. You can check the Wi-Fi network on iOS device in the setting under the Wi-Fi. Okay. And also update the latest version of your TV OS or iOS. On Apple TV, go to setting, then system, then software update and select software update. Okay. If update is available, then you can update now. Okay. For iPhone or iPad, go to setting, then general, then software update is if update is available, then download and install. Okay. Well, this is our all step. Thanks, guys.